Hi guys, Dr. Axe here. So excited to go over how to overcome low back pain and sciatic pain. A lot of you guys are you've been searching for answers. You've tried everything. You've you have some of the best doctors in the world and surgeons, and you're just not getting better, and they can't figure it out. And again, you've tried physical therapy, chiropractic, you've been through the ringer, and I've done a lot of research on this, and I had to put this video out because I've been treating chronic pain for a decade, and there's things I was completely missing, and through the research, I'm going to go over new advances in technology and new research coming out about chronic pain, low back pain, and sciatica. So um, again, this information, I promise you, will change your life if you listen to all of it and you implement it. So really, it, pain is an epidemic right now, and I was shocked by this study that chronic pain, we spend about $635 billion a year, okay? That's more than cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. That's how big of a deal pain is in America right now. And um, again, it's been overlooked. A lot of the research and treatments and testing is not going towards that. It's going to cancer, heart disease, and not going towards pain. And I think that's a major problem. And again, it's the biggest epidemic we have in America right now. So, so the big question is, why are you still in pain? And here's the reason. You have not addressed all four tissues that control joint pain. And that's why surgery fails, is because they're only doing surgery on one of the tissues. So again, you have to affect the muscles, the nervous system, the ligaments, and the joint capsule itself. So if you don't address all of the tissues that make a joint, you will still be in pain. So that's a huge, huge thing that a lot of people miss. Because like, for example, physical therapy, you're just working on the muscles and you're not working on the other tissues. You have to address all four of them. Uh, the next one is posture is hugely important. Okay. A change in posture will increase joint load and cause chronic pain. So if you don't change the posture and you do everything else, you may not get out of pain. So very, very important. And resetting your nervous system. This is probably the most important because a lot of people really are, in theory, they're actually out of pain. They've, they've corrected the issue. There's no more tissue damage. Their posture has been improved. But the pain pathway has been created from the joint to the brain. And you don't even have joint pain anymore, but your nervous system, your brain perceives pain. And if you do not reset that system, you will not get out of pain. And this is the biggest reason why people have tried everything and are still not out of pain. And we're going to go over in this video exactly the different steps on how you can actually reboot and reset your nervous system. So really excited to go over each of those steps and how you can start to do that. If you guys stay to the end, I'm actually going to offer for free. We used to sell this for $500 is our chronic pain program. This is all online. You can do it at home. And there's tons of amazing strategies, research, everything you need to do. Um, but what we realized is there's, there's physical things that need to happen in an office to get out of pain. And there's things that you need to do at home. So this has everything you need to do at home, meal plans, foods, uh, therapies to reset the nervous system, all those great tools. So just for staying to the end, you guys are all going to get that $500 for free. And again, it's just because when you're in pain, it ruins your life. So any way I can kind of give back, give you guys some free resources um, to get out of low back pain. So let's jump into this. So what causes joint pain? If you don't address the cause, you're not going to find a solution. So the first one is systemic inflammation. A lot of inflammation isn't just in your joint, but it's actually systemic. And we're going to talk about where that comes from. The second one is neuromuscular re-education and dysfunction. So if there's dysfunction between the brain and the joint, then the joint may have been healed and there's actually not pain coming from the joint. So if you don't reset that neuromuscular dysfunction, you will never get out of pain. And number three is joint tissue damage. And the things that cause the tissue to be damaged is lack of motion of the joint, impingements of nerves in that joint, and increased loading or pressure on the joint from a postural distortion. 
So we're going to go over each of these individually right now. So what is inflammation? Inflammation is actually a good thing. If you damage a tissue or wound, you need inflammation to come and heal the area. Now, if there's an infection or damage, that's what inflammation is designed for. Now, the problem is if you're chronically every single day damaging that tissue through something that you're eating, um, something you're being exposed to, like a toxin, then that inflammation happens every day, is chronic, and leads to chronic pain. So the key here isn't to start blaming inflammation, but to try to figure out where is the source of inflammation coming from. And if we can treat that, then we can get you out of pain. Now, systemic inflammation is a really big deal because it not only causes nerve pain, back pain, but it actually uh, leads to heart disease, fatigue, weight, grain, weight gain, and decrease in hormones. So it causes basically any disease you can think of. So the way that this works, when your arterial walls become inflamed, again, from viruses, bacteria, infections, gut issues, stress, um, that systemic inflammation is in your arteries. It damages the arteries, and your body lays down cholesterol to heal the damaged holes. So think about a room, and you started punching holes in the wall. Because you damage the walls, you need a lot of spackling and paint to patch the holes. The same thing is true in our arteries. When you damage them from inflammation, you have to have more cholesterol to fix the damaged holes. So heart disease is actually caused from systemic inflammation, not from high cholesterol. High cholesterol is just a natural reaction of the body to fight the systemic inflammation. So again, systemic inflammation is hugely important for that reason. So if you look at how hormones are made in the body, it actually starts out with cholesterol. Now when you have a lot of inflammation, your body will use all the cholesterol and you won't be able to make enough pregnolone, cortisol, testosterone, estrogen, etc. And because you're in pain and your body's using these different hormones to try to heal the inflammation think about all the things that happen when you have low testosterone cortisol estrogen it causes fatigue it can cause pain it can cause weight gain it can cause memory issues all those conditions are linked to hormonal issues which are all linked to being in pain so that's why it's so important to address systemic inflammation not just to get out of pain, because it will help you get out of pain. It's going to do so much more than that. So here's the top things that actually cause systemic inflammation in the body. Now, the, the first one is GI dysfunction. That one's really big. And really, the only way to figure out why, where it's coming from is comprehensive stool testing that most GI, GI doctors have no idea how to do. Um, and again, all of our food is being absorbed in the gut. All of the toxins we bring in a lot of times come from the gut. Um, and so all your blood that's going into your joints and your low back goes through your gut first. So that's the, one of the number one places to start. Um, infections is number two. And infections, you know, if we have the flu, you have whole body aches. Your entire body hurts. We understand that. So a lot of people have low-grade infections in their body causing systemic inflammation and causing pain and we actually have a special treatment using ozone to treat those naturally uh, the next thing here is food sensitivities a lot of people are getting tested for food allergies which is ige but they're not getting tested for this right here igg which is a food sensitivity so if you're eating things every day you're sensitive to and your allergist didn't pick up on it because he didn't test for it, he only tested for allergies, every single day you're inflaming your entire system with these foods. So there is a blood work test you can have to figure that out. Um, the next thing, blood sugar imbalances. A lot of people aren't diabetic, but they have imbalances. And there's actually a test called a micronutrient that tests for minerals and vitamins. And by correcting those deficiencies will help maintain healthy blood sugar levels and reduce systemic inflammation. Um, the next one is toxicity. Toxins damage your tissues. They trigger direct inflammation and that will throw your entire endocrine system off 
and cause systemic inflammation. Um, and the last one is autoimmunity. That's your immune system is attacking your own body. And I had a Hash, uh, disease known as Hashimoto's thyroiditis, where my immune system was attacking my own thyroid gland. So again, you can this can be tested through blood work. So the main thing here is with systemic inflammation, don't guess, you got to test. So in our office, we have all these different tests and we can pinpoint exactly where your systemic inflammation is coming from and fix it pretty easily. So now that we've covered systemic inflammation, let's jump into, let's actually jump to number three, which is joint tissue damage. And let's really talk about postural loading here. So when it comes to postural loading, that is essentially when the structure of the spine is lost. And what they found out is every inch the head moves forward, it adds an extra 10 pounds, uh, pounds of compressive force on the joints in your spine, leading to back pain and neck pain. So if someone had their their head shifted forward two to three inches, their head would now compress their entire spine by 42 pounds instead of 12 pounds. Okay, and the research shows that this leads to long-term muscle strain, disc herniations, arthritis, and pinched nerves. So again, the posture is extremely important for this reason. And when you look at that on an x-ray, there should be a curvature in the low back, mid back, and neck. And on the right hand side here, you can see this is what a nice curvature should look like. The problem is here on the left, you can see it's completely straight. It should have this nice 43 degree arch like this. When you have that nice curvature in there, it takes loads off the disc. And it's the same reason that a a dome roof holds more weight than a straight roof. The dome evenly distributes the weight and the engineering architectural principles are in our spines as well. A cool research article proving why you must have uh, correct posture in the spine. And this research article showed that when you lose the curvature in your spine, it stretches the spinal cord by 22%. Okay, that's huge. That will actually traction that sciatic nerve, traction nerves in the low back and the neck. And they also found that these changes right here seem to be associated with both continuous mechanical compression and vascular changes in the spine. So not only is it com mechanically compressing the spine, it's actually causing blood flow issues to the spinal cord itself. And when you lose blood supply to nerves, that causes major low back, nerve, and sciatic pain. So some really cool research just kind of proving all of this. Here's an MRI of the low back. And you can see from loss of curvature, postural loading in the low back, you can see right here at the bottom, it's actually loading that disc and compressing right into the spinal cord. Right, and that spinal cord right at this segment is what makes your sciatic nerve. So again, right here on the MRI, you can see what it's doing directly to the spinal cord. And this is actually an MRI of someone that went to um, one of the best orthopedics and was basically recommended surgery and told that was their only option. And with just in a month, we were able to actually unherniate this disc and get this person completely out of pain. And we did that by correcting the postural loading that was happening in the spinal cord. Now, probably the coolest thing about this and the most important thing is when you start to pinch on those nerves in the low back pain or your sciatic nerve, it not only causes a tremendous amount of pain, but those nerves you can see in this diagram go right to your, your organs. Okay, and specifically in the low back, they go right to the reproductive organs. And, you know, this is the conduit of how your brain sends signals from your brain down the spinal cord, out the openings in your spine to the different organs. So when these are impinged, it causes pain. And I actually had a guy come in and um, about a month later, he goes, and I didn't tell you about this, but I had major erectile dysfunction. And now that I'm out of pain, 
Um, the ED actually completely went away. And again, the reason is, is because those nerves in his low back go right to his reproductive organs. And I had a female actually the same thing about six weeks later. Um, you know, she had major menstrual issues and a lot of cramping, painful cycles. And uh, once she was out of low back pain, she said the whole, all of her menstrual and cycle issues completely cleared up just by getting out of low back pain. So again, it's so much more than just pain. This actually decreases the entire function of the body. So by, by changing postural loading in the spine, you can treat and reverse so many conditions besides just pain. And that's a really awesome thing. So there's two more things we need to talk about. Um, now, the third one here, we just talked about joint tissue damage. We talked about nerve impingements and why that's so important and how it can improve so many other things. And we talked about postural loading and how most people do not know how to treat that and are not treating it appropriately. And we're going to go over on some treatments on how actually you do change your posture. Um, the one thing we did not talk about is lack of motion. In lack of motion, motion is life. You need movement in each of your joints, even motion, to bring in hydration and nutrients. And you need motion to push toxins out. And I've had a lot of people say to me, no, look at me, I, I'm, I'm bending my back, I'm, I'm moving, everything's moving. What happens is it's like calipers, it's like brakes on a car. If one side of the pad sticks, it wears out and damages that side. So for a lot of people, only certain segments are moving and the other segments aren't, and that segment degenerates, causes inflammation, and causes you pain. So getting even motion in that joint is so important. And the last thing is neuromuscular dysfunction. So let's kind of jump into this last one here before we finish up. So the key here is neuromuscular re-education. And there's actually a piece of equipment that NASA created and there's tons of um, really research behind this. And they figured out that a frequency of 30 hertz, exactly 30 hertz input into the nervous system can help reset that brain joint connection. And again, that, that brain joint connection is what started the pain. And what's happened is that pain is now in the brain. They've, they've actually shown that after three months of being in chronic pain, your brain starts to change. Literally, the pattern in the brain, and after doing scans of the brain, different parts are lighting up. So now, the pain is not just in the joint, the pain is now being generated in the brain. And you have to use certain technologies and frequencies to reset that specific pain pathway. So again, that has to be re-educated. And this is big. This is the missing link for a lot of people watching this. They've done the right things. They've maybe treated the joint damage, but the pain pathway has not been reset. Another research article was done on people called phantom limb pain. And what had happened is these patients had so much pain, they had to amputate and cut the limb off. And 60% of those patients still had pain in that um, limb, even though they had the limb cut off. And this is directly proving that the pain is in the brain. It's not actually in the joint itself. So really the next step, now that you understand what causes joint pain, low back pain, sciatica, is we need to do an exam to pinpoint what What is it for you? Everyone's different, right? Not everyone has systemic inflammation or joint damage. And not everyone needs their nervous system reset. So a true chronic pain exam must include these things. We must find misalignments. We must find scar tissue that's restricting even motion of the joint. We need to find where the nerve impingements are coming from. And we also need to pinpoint sources of systemic inflammation through specialized testing. So again, a true exam needs to have all of these things. Again, let's stop guessing and let's start testing. So based off those exam findings, here is just a handful 
of the solutions or treatments you may need to get out of pain. Um, the first one is postural correction techniques. There's a lot of different techniques that are utilized um, in order to change the postural loading on the joint. Um, things like trigger points to alleviate uh, muscle tension. Vibration traction. They found that a specific frequency of 4.5 hertz must be input into the joint in the ligament to um, basically to repair the damage to that ligament. And we also talked about earlier how it's the ligaments that hold the posture into place. And there's really little to no treatment with conventional medicine for ligament instability or li ligament damage. Um, low back decompression. If those discs are herniated and that di and the that joint in the low back is damaged, we need to decompress it. That will pull hydration and water into the joint. Uh, spinal orthotics or bracing is sometimes needed um, to correct the posture. Um, X-ray guided PT. What I mean by that is not you need to know the right stretches, strengthening, etc based off your x-rays. The x-rays and the structure are the blueprint for what you should be doing. Uh, spinal manipulations. What those manipulations do is they get even motion of the joint. And we talked about brake calipers. If one brake is sticking, it's going to become arthritic and deteriorate. So with manipulations, we get even motion. And now what else that does is it resets the receptors in the joint. And so that's resetting that muscle memory we talked about. So that can actually help reset the pain pathway. Um, and the same thing is true for neuromuscular re-education. Uh, functional medicine. Now what functional medicine is doing is figuring out where your systemic inflammation is coming from. Is it a toxin? Is it something you're eating? Is it a bacterial infection in the gut? Functional medicine will pinpoint where the systemic inflammation is coming from. And different technologies such as PEMF technology, which I'm going to show you here in a second. So this is actually cervical vibration traction. And again, the whole the whole spine works as a motor unit. Back pain can cause neck pain. Neck pain can cause back pain. It's a giant. It's our spine. It's it's all connected. So really powerful machine. And I know a lot of you guys are thinking that's that looks painful. That's barbaric. I can't do that. Um, it really, most people it actually feels good and is not painful. And, uh, this is actually Lynn. She'd been in three car accidents, had whiplash, a lot of low back pain, sciatica. She tried yoga, chiropractic. She even tried decompression for her low back. And this was the missing link for her. Once we started doing this with her, um, she, her pain went from an eight and then two weeks later went all the way down to a three. So again, this was the missing link, uh, for Lynn. This piece of technology is called an arthrostim. It actually pulsates at a specific frequency that helps break adhesions in the spine. A lot of people say, you know, I'm too stiff. I, you know, I'm, I'm fused together. I have too much arthritis or I have osteoporosis. I, I can't handle that. I'm too fragile. This piece of equipment was designed exactly for people like yourself that are stiff. And this will actually help get motion in the joint, break up scar tissue, reset those receptors from the joint to the brain and it's also gentle and effective on people that are are in a lot of pain and have osteoporosis. Um, this is a called a flexion distraction table and this is designed to decompress the discs in the low back and we can actually pinpoint whatever disc is caught is, is generating the pain and it's really like an inversion table massage therapy and technology kind of all mixed, really all mixed together. And this works really good for people that are really tight, really tight backs, herniated discs, even digestive issues, um, or people that have tried physical therapy and you know just have, have not got the results that they're looking for. So amazing piece of equipment. We've got some great results. And this is actually a graph for PEMF technology, which is pulsated electromagnetic frequency. And what they found is this, this magnetic mat that emits frequencies into the body can cut inflammation and chronic pain by almost just as much as steroids. So here in the green is PEMP technology 
and how much it decreases inflammation and pain versus steroids. So not quite as effective as steroids. However, there's no negatives. It actually increases circulation, lymphatic drainage, increases your immune system. So there's no negatives and it works almost just as well as steroids. So amazing study. I was shocked when I saw this. But the main point I want to make here is there's so much technology out there that we're unaware of, we have not heard of, we have not tried. And this is just one of the very few technologies we have at our office. And this can get people out of pain in eight minutes. Because to, to do the testing and figure out the root cause and, and treat you, it, it does take some time. But with technologies like this, we can get people out of pain naturally in as little as eight minutes just to give us a head start on that process. I just want to kind of leave you guys with a story. Here on the left, this is someone that had scoliosis. And, you know, their, their, their doctor really didn't know what to do with it. She'd actually had three surgeries at this point and uh, was filing for disability because she was in so much pain. Um, her legs would actually go numb and she just couldn't function normally. And for her, you know, we did all the tests and we figured out what was going on. She had a couple different things. The main thing we had, we had to work on postural loading with her. We had some systemic inflammatory issues we had to address. But just in three months, look at the difference. We were able to completely reverse the scoliosis in her spine. And I remember she came to me and she was told that scoliosis was untreatable. And that because she had so many surgeries, there was nothing that could be done at this point. And she had lost all hope. And it was really upsetting to me that she thought there was no other answers. And, you know, she's like, you know, I've tried PT, I've tried chiropractic, um, I've been doing yoga, I, I had some of the, one of the best surgeons in the country. And they don't even know what to do at this point. And she had lost all hope. And, you know, there's so much technology, new technology and therapies out there that people just don't know about like her. And it was really just amazing to see her get her entire life back. She has a better relationship with her kids now. She's back at work. She's feeling productive. She's feeling good. And, um, you know, she's seen a lot of other issues besides just the pain go away. She has better digestion now. She has better energy. Again, because the nervous system, the neurological system controls all function in the body. So it's so much more than just being in pain. And I really feel like the key to this was not just doing one treatment with her, but doing the right testing, putting the three or four things together that she needed. It's the sum of all the parts. If you just do one or two things, you may not get results. You have to do everything in the right order, and then you need to reset the neurological system to reduce those pain pathways. And, you know, within two months, we were able, two to three months, we were able to do this with her. And um, it was truly amazing to see kind of her get her life back. So here's the next steps. And here's the big thing. You got to take action, right? You, I promise you guys, if you take action, do something about, keep doing your research, search alternative treatments, you will get better. Okay, that is the ultimate secret. So, you know, we accept all insurances. And for most people, you only have to pay your, um, your copay for these appointments. So you really have nothing to lose and everything to gain, right? Worst case scenario, you're out a $20 copay. Best case scenario, you completely get out of pain, transform your life, get your energy back, get your health back. So um, it's a really big deal. Uh, within 24 hours, one of the staff members will call you, find a good time that works with your schedule, will find the office closest to you. And just for showing up and being and watching this and showing up for an appointment, I'm going to send you guys our chronic pain program for free. And that's a $500 value. We sell this program for $500, but because you guys are taking action and you watch the entire video and educate yourself, I think you should be rewarded for that. And this program is not going to do anyone any good sitting on my computer. So the more people I can send it to, and guys, this is a big deal. We've had thousands of people not even come in the clinic and just follow these guidelines and get better. But I do think it's extremely important to come in the office, 
have the therapies done, the technologies utilized, and use this program at home to get the results you're looking for. I think it, the joint combination is extremely powerful. But thank you so much for watching. I know we can change your life. Give us a chance. It's my mission to help other people regain their health and get out of pain. Give me that chance to help you. Again, you have nothing to lose, and I'm going to send that program for you guys for free just for joining. Thanks.